2022 second round pick J.D. Davison is hoping for a similar success story as a two-way player for the main Celtics. And Chris Forsberg caught up with the guard earlier today. All right, here with J.D. Davison. J.D., just, let's just start general. Like, how's the experience been in Maine this season? And and uh, what do you think the uh, the greatest opportunity for growth has been up there? Um, Just taking this day by day, step by step. Um, not looking too far ahead, not looking back at all. Um, just enjoying the process of, you know, my journey right now. 21 years old, just enjoying the journey, uh, the next step. Just enjoying, like, leading the team, being that, being that point guard coach on the court, and just trying to make my teammates better every day. What has that evolution been like? You come into the league, obviously, you know, drafted late second round, but you're, the Celtics are loaded at that point guard position. You get sent up to Maine. Like, where do you think you've been able to to develop most in that in that point guard mentality? Um, um, I say just bringing the energy from the jump, like on the defensive end. Uh, they've been talking to me a lot about pressuring the ball, guarding the ball, um, not getting screened a lot. So it's just kind of like trying to bring that energy from the jump for the team and trying to be that spark. You uh, you play at a pace that uh, not a lot of players play at. Like, what is that like trying to harness that and and turn that into a weapon with your speed and the way that you play on the court? Uh, just know I'm got a lot of shoes around me at all times, so it's it's not easy to help or at all. <laughs> so it's, uh, trying to use my speed and my strength as an advantage against against guard that's guarding me or whatever. Um, trying to just trying to be me at all, mm-hmm. being me. You know, I, I know you. Uh, the voting closed last night for that next for that up next game. Um, what would it mean if you uh, if you if to, to 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 at least be considered for that game and and get a chance to show off on the All Star stage? Uh, it would mean something for me. Um, uh, I guess I see the work the work that I've been putting in coming to reality and um, just going down the All Star weekend and taking that moment is like a surreal moment. I've never been All Star weekend, so it's a, it'll be different for me. Nice. Uh, tell me about uh, you got to come back up with the parent club. Like, what's it like bouncing between and how much are you keeping an eye on what they're doing every day? How much are you just locked in on what you're doing up there? What's the balance like? Um, you know, once you get out of practice, you got a little, a little time, time off your hands. So I try to watch the game as much mm-hmm. as I can. But uh, basically just focusing on where I'm at, um, if I'm up or down. So just taking it day by day, you know, you know anytime it could be a call up or you know, it could be a call down back to Maine. So just just staying ready, ready for that moment. And just, you know, the big club is the big club. You, you always want to be there, and that's my goal to, to get there. You get to be in that locker room. It feels like there's some good vibes in there in terms of, like, what this team is doing. What's it like to be a part of that mix on those on those days you are with the parent club? Man, it's, it's different. Just just knowing them guys and one of just to, you know, when you go there, they're always checking on you when you're up there. So it's always just like number – my big brothers, uh, I would say, uh, just being in the locker room with him is it's still surreal to me. Like, uh, I don't think it got to me yet, just being in the locker room like Jason Tatum, Jaden Brown. It's, it's kind of different to me. What What is it like? Who's 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 taking you under their wing? Who's the most checking on you? Who's Who are the guys that are, are making sure you're on that right path? Uh, I'd say uh, JB and, and Drew, mm-hmm. as of now, uh, those are the guys I talk to. And, like, I watch the most just, like, during the game, so... Those are the two guys. What's that like with, with you know, Drew has obviously accomplished so much in his his career and having won a championship. What's it like getting a little advice from him now part of the organization? Um, man, it's, I've been watching Drew since uh well, I don't know, New Orleans days. So it's kind of different for me. So um just taking the advice from him because you know, he's been on the championship team, he got a ring. Um he's been leaders of a lot of teams and like, you know. He's the quarterback of the defense now, so it's just watching him is like, oh, my God, it's, it's so different. <laughs> Good luck tonight. We'll yeah. see you back down here in Boston soon. All right. Thank you. And J.D. Davison, only one of two players in the G League right now, averaging 20 or more points or eight or more assists as well. Just what is his path to that parent organization yeah. with the Celtics? So it's funny. I always tell this story. So my, one of my first years covering the team, Avery Bradley gets drafted, and they send him up to Maine. And you kind of forget about him. He was mm-hmm. 19 years old at that point. Comes back, his hair had grown out, not to J.D. Davison levels. But, <laughs> you know, he went up there. He learned how to, like, just be a pro. And he comes back. And within a year and a half, he was in the starting lineup for the Celtics. It's easy to kind of forget. Now Avery was a first-round pick, was highly touted. But J.D. goes up there. You kind of learn the way of the game. You learn, like, how you can impact it, taking that coaching and try to, like, figure out your, your role. And I think he's done that. He plays at such a great speed. 
He has the ability on the defensive end, but more so with just creating. If he's just okay with running the offense and getting people involved and keeping the turnovers low, I think he can really help this team. And long term, the Celtics have got to find cheaper guys that can build around this core because they're paying so much money for the guys around here. He just has to wait for that opportunity, and that can be frustrating. But I really believe J.D. has the potential to impact this team. Jalen Brown and Drew Holiday giving mm. you advice. You can't go wrong there.